75% of shoppers now carry at least one store loyalty card. But what are those grocery stores, department stores, and bookstores collecting from us? 2 News consumer reporter John Matteris investigates who's getting your personal information in tonight's segment two. Take a look at your wallet or keychain. It seems every store these days has a loyalty program. Now, these loyalty cards promise big discounts and coupons to your favorite products. But what are you giving up in return? And who is learning about all your habits? Karen Barnes loves shopping with her loyalty cards. 865 I saved with coupons. This busy mom's register tape shows how much her card saved her. Plus, it gives her coupons to things she likes. It's a saving a dollar on a pound of butterball meat. Occasionally, though, Karen wonders how much the store knows about her. I mean, it seems like it, they do know everything you're doing anymore, not just at grocery stores, but on the computer. What started at just a handful of grocery stores has now spread to hundreds of retailers, including CVS, Staples, Best Buy, DSW Shoes, even Starbucks and Panera. You get freebies plus coupons for items you want. And it allows us to send custom mail to your household based on your preferences and the products you buy. If you're somebody who hasn't bought baby diapers in a decade, you're probably not going to be interested in baby product offerings. Of course, if you use a loyalty card, that store knows everything that you purchased there. And I mean everything. Should you be concerned? Most chains say no. Uh, your information, including your name, your email, even your home address will never be shared. We will never sell that information to other vendors. We checked and found that all major chains, for example, Best Buy, state clearly on their website they don't share your buying habits with others. Coupon blogger Andrea Deckard, who runs a blog called The Savings Lifestyle, says the only real risk is accidental sharing. That's what happened with the recent Epsilon security breach involving millions of email addresses at dozens of stores. The only issue is recently with the, um, the hacking and basically all of the company's sites and their email information was given out. So Andrea has advice to anyone worried about sharing too much. She says give the store only the minimum info required. Use your work address if you have one and set up a separate Google or Yahoo email account. If you are concerned about your email getting inundated even with spam offers or whatever, just set up a separate email account that only has those types of offers or freebies or whatever you're signing up with online. Finally, check your wallet periodically. If you find some loyalty cards you no longer use, cut them up and toss them. And next time a store offers one, ask yourself if you will really use it or if it will just take up space in your wallet or purse. And that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.